Hey guys, what is up? Cyber Ace TV, and today we have a full overview for you of what's new in iOS version 6. So to start it off, um, this was kind of announced today, um, June 11th, 2012, at Apple's yearly WWDC, Worldwide Developer Conference. And uh, what they're introducing here is that this new mobile operating system is going to include over 200 new features, and we're just going to highlight some of the new stuff. So to start off, Siri. Siri has gotten smarter. It's learned tons of new languages, um, and it can offer you a lot of more information. You ask it about sports, restaurants, movies. Uh, you will be able to launch apps just by telling Siri to launch the app. You'll be able to make reservations and get movie reviews and stuff like that. And you could also go get it to tweet for you, so that's pretty cool. Uh, also, we get Facebook integration. Uh, it's going to be just like the Twitter integration with uh, that iOS 5 has. Uh, there's going to be a tap to tap to post option, and that's going to be in the notification center. And it's going to be also integrated with the calendar, so your birthdays and events on Facebook will be on your calendar. So here's the thing. Uh, new thing is also reply with message or remind me later. If you find yourself in a situation where you're unable to take a call, you can now instruct your iPhone to send preset message to the caller or to remind you to call the person back. You can also set your iPhone to do not disturb. Uh, this feature is added and it means you can tell your phone that it should silence alerts to incoming calls for a while and uh, it allows you to customize it a lot. You can um, make people be in your favorites so that it will always ring if they call. Um, and on the other people so it actually it's if they call um, you can set it to always ring um, if they call like twice so just if they call one time and it's not really that important then it's okay but if they call twice you might know it's something important so it will actually ring uh, now FaceTime got some upgrades we have FaceTime over 3G after two years with the iPhone 4 still having to use it over Wi-Fi you can now use it over cellular data and guess what? You can actually call either their phone number or their Apple ID. It doesn't matter uh, if it's their phone number or Apple ID. Either one will call. Uh, Safari is being updated. Safari has now has iCloud tabs, which allows browsing sessions to be synced across your devices as well as offline reading lists. Uh, so basically, you could be browsing on your iMac and go over to your iPad, and you'll be able to pick up right where you're browsing before. Also, if you add stuff to your offline reading list, you'll be able to pretty much read offline web pages when you're not available for Wi-Fi or 3G. Photo stream, you can easily share your photos with friends and family and you just choose a photo and an album and your friends will receive a notification and the photos will appear in an album where they can comment. The mail app is also getting some features. Uh, you can mark certain individu individuals as important and their uh, emails will be starred and appear in a flagged mailbox and you could also simply more simpler add photos and videos into emails and the inbox can be refreshed with a full passbook that's a new app and um, it will allow you to collect and store boarding passes store cards movie tickets and all the things you normally have to print out or hand over for scanning uh, thanks to location support the app will even pull up the relevant card once you are near a place you'd use it this means if you're near Starbucks passbook will pull up your Starbucks card and as a bonus, cards are live updating, meaning that your boarding pass will always update with gate change information. We also have guiding access. Apple's adding something called guided access to iOS 6. This will allow you to disable certain controls or parts of the display in order to make your device a bit more kid friendly. Now another thing is maps. Maps are being really updated. Apple is stitching Google's maps and will use its own mapping solution now. Uh, you got tra there's traffic information with real-time crowdsource data, uh, the ability for Siri to answer the age-old are we there yet. Apple's also adding flyover to maps. This feature makes the whole world look a bit like SimCity game by showing 3D models of geographical features and buildings. And there's also turn-by-turn -turn directions in maps. There's also lost mode. Lost mode, the Find My iPhone feature now offers something called lost mode. This feature will allow you to send a phone number to a missing device in order to allow whoever found it to call you. This, of course, assuming that, it, so that someone is interested in, tra in tracking you down and returning your beloved eye device because most people probably don't want to give it back. So there you go. That was just a highlight of basically what were the biggest uh, new features in iOS 6. I'm sure there's a lot more and stay tuned to Cyber East TV for hands-on coverage of iOS 6 starting within the next couple days. I'm in the beta and I'm going to get you some videos out soon for hands-on coverage. Stay subscribed. Thank you for watching this overview of iOS 6. He's cyber. Cyber Race TV Anything techie you need to know
He's the guy to see.